Okay, you go, you're peeing. You're a dude, right? You're a dude, you have a penis. You're peeing and you think you're done peeing. You pull your pants up, but you pull it up too early. Come on. Anyways, I didn't shake. It's my bad. Anyways, anyways, any, any, anyways. What do I want to eat today? Stay away from Domino's. That might be the play. I agree with that. Uh, Canes, sushi. Mm. I'm so fucking bored of all this shit, to be honest with you. Uh, I want something new, but I don't want to leave my house. That's mm. my issue. I don't want a burgie because I had one yesterday at Rob's, or was that the day before? I don't remember anymore. It was the day before. Man, food is actually so boring to me now. I want it to be quick. I don't want to spend a lot of time eating because I'm trying to level at this point. I'm behind already. Health? Let me look up healthy food. Okay, smoothie places are all I'm getting. Chick-fil-A. Vietnamese? Vietnamese is too difficult to eat. Maybe I should get Indian? Fuck, Indian's also hard. Fuck it, Indian food. Nahi? So from now on, we are calling you the dribbler. And it has nothing to do with sports. Um. <laughs> wow. The dribbler, huh? Uh, hold on. I don't see Indian food. I was gonna get like, um, hot chicken or whatever the fuck. Uh, tandoori. Thai, Chinese, pizza, sandwich, soup, smoothie, vegan, healthy desserts, chicken, Vietnamese burgers. Mexican breakfast, fast food, Japanese, sushi, and Asian. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna be a boring bitch. I'm just gonna get a basic sandwich from Schlotzky's. Nothing crazy. It does what I need it to do. Boring shit. I'm kind of craving that, you know, bread they do. All right. So, to quest. Uh, wait, do I have to do... Question. Question. All right. Um, so, all of the... Do I have to do all the patch quests, right? I can skip it now, though, right? I can pay to skip. Because now the new expansion's out, you can boost to 80, and you can skip all of the story. I've done the main story, but I haven't done all the patches that they've done, which apparently aren't that great. Excellent. Uh, let me see if Vigor started leveling. Have you started leveling? They are good. What the heck? They're amazing. Don't skip. Uh, interesting. Interesting. They're boring until 5.3. 5.3 is the good one. How long does it take to get there? Isn't it like a whole fucking day? Can you imagine? I, I just put this in World of Warcraft terms, right? I put it in WoW terms. New WoW expansion comes out, right? And all the streamers are playing it. And then there's that one guy who's playing the last expansion. <laughs> that's, that's what you're telling me to do. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> mm. 
I know I did it to myself. So here's the thing. Um, I have to wait on Vigor. So Vigor is playing a Reaper, which is the new class. And apparently, you cannot boost to 80. You have to start at 70. And you have to do all that shit at level 70. So, I can only go as fast as Vigor. He is our weak link. If I reach max level, uh, okay, so let me ask you this. If I reach max level, will there be things for me to do solo content wise while I wait on Vigor? I think the answer is yes. So there is a reason to reach max level quickly for me. Right? I'm not gonna do any of the raids though. All of the raids I will be doing with Vigor and Moon and Shiny and all them. So you will get logged out. I think I'd be able to log right back in though, right? Raids aren't even out anyways. Oh, okay, well then I'll do things. Could try out PvP. So I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a boost. I'm gonna do it. And uh, as to the, a response to people that are upset about this, um, I suck my dick, suck it dry. Fuck you. I don't care. All right, it's how it is. Anyways, let's go ahead and buy a boost. If it takes me out of the game and I have to sit in my queue again, um, a lot of you are gonna be like, ha ha, serves you right for boosting. It's better than having to play through that cringy bullshit patch note story all the way until it gets good in 5.3, so. Just saying. Anyways, guys, I love Final Fantasy, and I love the community, and I love the story. I love it. It's the best. Please, anyone want to give some subs? Please. All right, let me figure this out. Hold on. Uh, nah, he... <laughs> Thanks. Suck it dry has an entirely different meaning after you tell us that you're pissed your pants. I didn't pee myself. Add new service with account, character renaming. Where are, damn it. Ugh. I'm so bad at working this fucking Mog Station website. Oh, no wonder, I'm not even, oh yeah, here's Mog Station, okay. Character renaming, home world transfer, digital collection companion app, retainer service, service account status. There is a button. I, I wish I could put it on stream so you guys could guide me, but everyone says don't put Mog Station on screen. World digital uh, character renaming service. Home world transfer, character redeeming service, digital collector's edition upgrade, companion app, retainer service. What do I do? Store and then popular. I don't, I don't even know if I'm on the store. <laughs> and I don't know where popular is. Just give me the fucking link. Give me a link to click. Thank you, Volps. God help me with this shit. All right, Tales of Adventure, Shadowbringers. Uh, Do I just buy this and call it a day? I'm good. Proceed with purchase. It doesn't say ninja on it. Is it okay if I'm just... It's good. I confirm items. Wait, that's the wrong character. Yikes. Almost did that. All right. Confirm. 
Motherfucker, that is the wrong character again. Got it. Okay, select payment method. Log in. Let me see if they take my credit card now. All right, it's been completed. Return to the main site. So now I just wait for the mail, right? Now he. Ooh. Long time 14 player. Boost it up. Long time players don't care. Looking hot without the type 3 jaw. Cat girl is cute too. Thank you. There we go. All right, I think I'm good. <laughs> uh, how do I teleport home? Fuck, so hold on, travel? Like, what is the main city, would y'all say? Limza, so the top one there. All right. I mail and shit. Mount unavailable here. Cring. And then upper decks is where the mail is. It's right there. Was it? Okay, I'm gonna go back. What the fuck do you mean? Now he? I'm triggered. Why are all ducks ugly? Alright, the aft castle. So I go here. Teleport to the aft castle. Uh, I don't think ducks are that ugly. Anyways, I have mail. Final Fantasy. A wind-up palam and... Some sort of earring. Take all. Is that an upgrade? Feet, uh, hands. Which one's earring? Ears. Whoa, Dex plus 97? No, it's worse. Wait, XP earring. Increase XP earring by 30% when level 80 and below. What the French toast, man? I just... Alright. I guess it doesn't really matter. Considering, like, I just had to get through the story, right? Wait, now that I think about it, everything I've done in playing this game, story-wise, I guess I got to experience the story, but, like, I'm about to... It's all pointless outside of that. I guess I learned how to play the game and all that, so I guess that's not pointless. Huh? But I got mail. Excellent. Don't do it! Don't! Don't skip the... Story! Fuck! Can 
of a pick! You're giggling! Deserved! <laughs> well, shiznit. Play that Happy's Burger Farm Horror game. <clears throat> no, not in the mood. CBA. But Aries is playing it. <gasps> Wait, maybe it owns. But I can also play Prop Night. <gasps> Man, I'm I'm fucking. I, I went to bed excited to play Final Fantasy today. Like I, I literally didn't sleep a lot, right? Because I was excited, unironically. And I haven't gotten to play yet. It is 6.40 p.m. This is brutal. You could have played. I could have done the uh, side quests. Uh. I wonder if the store has any new cool mounts. It does have a bikini. Don't skip the login issues. Don't do it, man. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if there's any new cool mounts. Or items, really, that I don't have. There's a panda. Is that new? No? What the French toast? Now he? Read the ninja Mama changes. Washed up oh. gamer won't even wake up at 5 a.m. to get in queue. Casual. And you're poor. Ah, costume set. Ooh. Now he. Imagine if all the streamers crashed and burned on the roller coaster, you would have no competition left. Literally, number one streamer on the platform. That's true. I always make the joke. Um, it's kind of edgy, but whenever I'm like, whenever I'm in like a, a an elevator with like a lot of streamers, like we do a big event, I always Now say. He? Like get the eight player mount that shit bus in. <laughs> like you, you know, elevators are kind of awkwardly quiet. I always say like, man, there's a lot of view count in this elevator. It'd be a shame if we all just died. <laughs> It's a lot of view count. <laughs> like I did it in uh, Vegas for like the Twitch Rivals thing. Look at these costumes, though. Wait, I could have a kitten helm? Holy shit. Not funny. It is funny, and you're a bitch. Men's Red Summer Set. Okay. Wow. Wait, I could get into the holiday cheer. I could buy Christmas stuff. <gasps> Female Werewolf Set. Interesting. 
What's my Q at now? Yes, I'm in the 4,000s. I'm almost there. Watch a lore video Moon watched for two hours. <clears throat> I mean, who cares? Emmett's dead. Who cares? That's how I feel. Why do I care anymore? Maybe read the ninja changes. I, I, I'll fucking do Final Fantasy stuff. Final Fantasy 14 ninja changes and Walker. Silence, bitch. Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here. And in this video, we'll be doing a full breakdown on Ninja's job changes and additions coming in Endwalker. This information is fresh out of the latest media tour, but bear in mind, everything in this video is still subject to change before Endwalker's release. I'm gonna talk about potencies a little bit in this video, but try not to take them too seriously, especially for Ninja. We'll elaborate on that later. Also, there's a- This is old? Oh, I- one month ago, one month ago, a month ago. Um, Endwalker Ninja is insane. Every change you need to know. 25 minutes long? No thanks. I mean, like, again, I, I, I just figure it out myself, I feel like. Oh, fuck. Is there a patch notes I can read? I don't want to listen to someone talk. Can someone just link me like that shit? Second video? Ah, Naruto. Yeah, I just don't want to hear anyone talk. Will I understand patch notes? Uh, we'll see. Okay. Each action and trait is listed as appears at level 90. Refer to the changes section. What the fuck? Job quest, level 60. Harai Jaijin. Mm. Grants Hutan. Fuck. Okay, here's Bunshin updated. Wait, okay, so some of these have updated over them, so they've been changed a little bit, right? All right. Can I can I read this? Delivers an attack with a posy of 100 to all nearby enemies. Uh, combo action, Death Blossom. Extends Hutan duration by 10 seconds. Combo bonus increases Ninky gauge by 5. How's it been updated? Hover over revisions. Oh. Okay, combo, combo potency changed from 140 to 120. Hutton's maximum extension length changed from 70 seconds to 60 seconds. So it got nerfed. Okay. Armor crush. Uh, potency changed from 100 to 120. Ooh, wait, that single target. So it looks like the AOE got nerfed, and then the single target got buffed on these things. Uh, flank attack potency, 160 to 180. Combo potency, 400. combo potency changed from 400 to 320. I don't know what combo potency means. I don't know. Flank attack potency while comboing changed from 460 to 380. Hun's max extension length changed from 70 seconds to 6 seconds. Ninky increase amount changed from 10 to 15. That's pretty cool. Okay. Dream within a dream. Potency change from 200 to 150. Deleted additional effect grants assassinate ready. Wait, what? Did they... Re Isn't that the only way you can assassinate? Where's the assassin... Like... Hold on. Uh, learning level change from 60 to 40. Deleted. Delivers a critical direct hit with poison. Can only be used. So now you just use it. Assassinate changes into DWD. DWD? What the French toast is DWD? I'm looking. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Dream within a dream. Oh, so you just press it twice. Oh. So, like, you hit it, and then it changes into... 
Okay. You hit it, and then it changes to the other button, and then you hit it again. My Also, my food's here. My Sammy. BRB. Where's my Final Fantasy Q? How am I doing right now? 4603. Wow. Cool. No revisions to Tenchi Jin. This is a level 68 ability. Deals uh, unexpected damage to the potency of 400. Oh, this is the single target. Okay, add a Wissy bonus potency is increased to 500 when under the effects of Mwesui. Mwesui. How do you say that and what the fuck is that? Burr, burr, where the fuck is Mwesui? Oh, here it is. Oh. Isn't this where it gives you Ninky Gauge? Okay, so increase the potency of Bakarakova to 500, duration 30 seconds. So it lasts 30 seconds. I he. All right, and then this, revisions. Melee potency change from 200 to 160. Range potency change from 100 to 160. Uh, area of attack potency change from 100 to 80. Grants Phantom Kamatichi ready. Oh, this is a level 82. This is a new spell. Your shadow deals wind damage to all enemies within five yams. <laughs> Dude, the fucking words. With a potency of 550 for the first enemy and 50% less for remaining enemies. This effect is since Hutton by 10 seconds. Okay. Yams equals yards, I guess. I don't know. Incorrect. Yom is like a meter or a yard. All right. Forked Raiju. Rushes a target and delivers a lightning attack with a potency of 400. Mm. What the fuck? Can only be executed while the effect of Forked Raiju ready. Which one grants Forked Raiju ready? It's fucking Chidori. Actually. Raiton. Where is Raiton? It's a ninjutsu. Bro. Yeah, maybe I should watch a fucking video. You're not wrong. Rush's target delivers a lightning attack. Wait, mm -hmm. this is another lightning attack. Wait. Forked Raiju 
then goes into fleeting Raiju right after. Holy shit. Wait, Raiton is the fucking single target. Um, one, two, hit it. Holy shit. So you do a fucking lightning strike, you Chidori in the melee, and then you Chidori the fuck out. Give me a fucking video right now. Right on this dick. God damn it. There's one? Ah, Naruto Hodo. This is Ninja. Ninja does mudras. Or if you play it like me, Ninja makes bunnies on top of their head. And yeah, this <laughs> is Ninja's gear. I think it always looks really cool. I like the chain mail. And uh, Trick Attack is still in the game. Okay, moving on. But first, I have a disclaimer. I was sponsored by Square Enix to try out this development build of Endwalker, and everything that you see here is subject to significant changes. That includes potencies especially. Since a lot of them change throughout all of the jobs, I would not worry about them. But anyway, let's take a look. Nice. Endwalker really means end of dots because Shadowfang was removed. Goodbye, dot. There is a new GCD, Huraijin. The important part of this is that it grants Hutan. You probably don't want to do this instead of Armor Crush, since Armor Crush is higher potency, but it provides an on-ramp if you ever drop Hutan, or you know, maybe some other big brain strats that I don't know about. Assassination is different, uh, it's like dream within a dream, and then it becomes dream within a dream. Ooh. You know, fake it till you make it. Alien Edge and Armor Crush will now grant you a 15 Ninki Gauge, so that's pretty neat. May Sweet will now not only eat up Sweeton to increase your Ninki Gauge, but it will increase Babakakra's potency to 400. And your Bunshin dude unlocked a new attack. It's called Phantom Kamaitachi. It sends your shadow to do a 550 potency AoE. Yeah, it's a ranged attack. And if Raitan wasn't already cool enough, it's got a three-part combo now. You've got Raitan into Fort Raiju into Fleeting Raiju. And both of those are high potency, and both of them are gap closers. Holy yeah. shit! And then there's one last new skill, Hollow Nozuchi, a triggered ability. When you have your Dotan out already, and then you do your AoE combo, it will trigger your Dotan to pulse with snakes for 100 potency and that's spammable it'll happen every time you finish your one two combo and that is everything for ninja my favorite part about it is definitely that new right on combo thank yeah. you so much for watching she dory my videos on the end worker job changes are out now so check out the playlist in the link in the description below to watch the next one okay bye oh oh Cool. Okay. A cloning jutsu that dishes out wind damage and a lightning attack that you unleash at close range? Believe it. Believe it! Nah, he? Ah, fuck. You said you would react to the limit breaks when you weren't busy. Guess what? You're not busy. Here it is. Okay, what the fuck do you... I don't... I still don't know what limit breaks are. I just hit it because my chat tells me to. Every now and then in like dungeons. <clears throat> okay. Holy shit. Does that actually happen? Scholar. What the fuck? Bar. Holy fuck. Pow. 
Paladin. Holy fuck. Damn. Oh, this is me. This is me. What do I do? Oh, I throw in a bunch of daggers. That's full flame. So, what decides who uses a limit break? I'm sure there's a meta to it. The party leader calls it. Mm. Are they all very different? Because I feel like, you know, out of all the damage ones, right? You're going to want to do the highest damaging one. Always. It's whoever clicks first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Single target LB. Usually melee DPS. Hmm. Vigors will do it 100%. Oh, God. Great. He's tank? No, he's not. He's playing Reaper. Fuck. Please don't grieve me. Please don't grieve me, for the love of God. I gotta play something else. It's that simple. I'm going to buy Prop Night and play it. I It's over. I don't know. Okay. Happy burger farm, Sag. Nope. He? If you haven't seen Reaper vid, here. Uh, isn't this like the most edgy class? Reaper is so edgy, and really, it's just living its best life. I have seen this. Afterlife? Anyway, this is its job gear. 
I really like the hat. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I heard somewhere that covering one of your eyes will increase your defense. Thank you for the gifted subs, man. Nah. Scythes are one of the coolest weapons in all of creation, and yeah, this does not disappoint. But first, I have a disclaimer. I was sponsored by Square Enix to try out this development build of Endwalker, and everything that you see here is subject to significant changes. Nah, it he? includes potencies oh, especially. Oh, thank God you closed it here. 25 for your jobs, troubles. I would not worry about them. But anyway, <laughs> let's take a look. Thanks. Reaper has two main resources. There's the soul gauge, which is the red one, and the shroud gauge, otherwise known as the blue one. The overall goal <laughs> is to use your normal attacks to generate soul gauge. Then you spend this soul gauge to use avatar attacks. Using one of those attacks will unlock the use of a soul reaver attack and those will generate Shroud Gauge with the blue one. And then you spend the Shroud Gauge to let the avatar possess you, which I'm sure is perfectly safe. Once in your spooky mode, you go real fast and you alternate attacks and you finish it off with a big 1000 potency casted attack called Communio. Also, this graphic is just a single target. There's also AOE versions of this stuff. So for the normal attacks that generate your soul gauge, Reaper is a melee and thus it must have a 1-2-3 combo. It is known. And that combo is Slice into Waxing Slice into Infernal Slice. All of which will increase your soul gauge, which is the red one. Then for AoE, you have an AoE combo, Spinning Scythe into Nightmare Scythe. Please do not use this on single target. And then there are two normal attacks that are on charges. This is Soul Slice for single target and Soul Scythe for AoE. These will generate a whopping 50 soul gauge. Okay, so that was the normal stuff. Next are the avatar attacks, all of which will cost 50 soul gauge. There's blood stalk for single Whoa. target and grim Damn, stalk that looks cool. for a cone AoE. Both of these will unlock one soul reaver attack. Then there's an additional one on a minute cooldown called Gluttony. This is a big potency AoE that gives you two Soul Reaver attacks. Now on to the Soul Reaver attacks. There's These animations are these sick. These are the ones that generate 10 Shroud Gauge, the blue one. For I guess the downside target, of having crazy cool animations like this these is the you have to turn everyone else's animations and off. Use one of them, it will enhance Because <laughs> it's too much. Ones, so you will be alternating uses of these. As a side note, these will also alter your blood stock, but that just happens anyway. You don't really have to think about it. But it's they're so cool changes. looking. And the AoE Soul Reaver attack is called Guillotine, which is a cone. Once you've got 50 Shroud Gauge, it's time to spend it on End Shroud to, and I quote, offer your flesh as a vessel to your avatar? You get a whole makeover with glowing red eyes and glowing arms and probably a whole slew of back problems that, but hey, you do more damage now. Your Soul Reaver and Avatar attacks will now transform into their Lemure versions. Okay, so basically you have five available Lemur Shroud stacks. When you spend these on the upgraded Soul Reaver attacks, they will burn up and allow you to use the upgraded Avatar attacks. So for single target, you will do this. Void Reaping into Cross Reaping, which will burn up two Shroud stacks and allow you to use Lemur's slice. Shroud. You do that combo twice, and you'll have one stack left to use on Communio, the big finisher. Then instead for AoE, you'll do two Grim Reaping into a Lemur's Scythe. And you do that combo twice and finish it off with a Communio. And that is the core loop. It may sound a little strange, but once you play it, it's actually very intuitive and flows super well. I was pushing the wrong button, so do as I say and not as I do. But that's not all. You've got an array of tools to help you out. The most important tool is this debuff that needs to be on your targets at all times. It's Which is? Death's Design, of course. It increases the damage that you deal to said target by 10%. Shadow of Death is your single target version of this, and Whirl of Death is your AoE version. I did not keep this up because I'm a big old dummy and I cannot read. Reaper's ranged attack is called Harp, and in Interestingly, it has a short cast time. Related to that, there's two gap closers, Hell's Ingress and Hell's Egress. One of them jumps you forward, the other one jumps you back. And when you use one, the other one changes back to a teleport to bring you back to your Hell's Gate that you left behind. It's called a Hell's Skirt. Gate. And this will also make your harp instant cast. And Reaper has utility. Uh, there's Arcane Crest. It's a shield that you put on yourself that's 10% of your HP and lasts 5 seconds. If it breaks, you get a regen on everybody. So helpful. And this is a fun one. There's Arcane Circle. It's a 3% damage buff for everybody around you for 20 oh! seconds. But the real kicker is that they all have 5 seconds to land a weapon skill or a spell. 
and if they do they will give you an immortal sacrifice stack which you can have up to eight of them if everybody does it yes that means you two healers you can spend these immortal sacrifice stacks on plentiful harvest which goes up in potency according to how many stacks that you have and as long as you have one stack which you always will it'll give all right you all i can think shroud Listen. gauge so you can you gotta remember vigors is the one playing this class Vigors is going to only care about his damage. He doesn't care about anything else. It doesn't matter. So, <clears throat> if it's anything like World of Warcraft, um, he is going to be screeching at people to e attack. To give him his stacks immediately go into avatar possession mode and the last thing that you've got is soul so which allows you to use harvest moon thank it's you dave is me attack. for the soul so is instant sub. outside of combat but it has a long cast it will happen it's so combat. easy so you'd probably only be doing this during downtime i just i see a moment where he only gets seven that stacks and he screeches at the I entire raid trying to find out who fucked up style in everything that it does not to mention that i'm a particular <laughs> fan of reapers in general winky face thank you so much for watching and all of my videos on the end worker job changes are my right now. Check out the playlist in the link <laughs> Where the fuck? to watch the next one. Okay, bye. Probably me. I'm a DPS. It's really hard for me to fuck it up because all I got to do is just keep attacking, right? All right, that's interesting. Uh, Q is 4,900. That's not poggers, but this game is done downloading, and now I'm going to launch it and play it.